in this video I'm going to show you how to create your first Quarkus project with the Quarkus CLI step by step. Last time you learned how to install the Quarkus CLI and how to use the help option. Today you will be learning how to start a new Quarkus project, add extensions and scene in action. Let's get started. All right, let's create your first Quarkus application with the Quarkus CLI. Open the terminal and simply type Quarkus create. The CLI will generate a basic project with the default name code with Quarkus. You can see the output in the terminal. Now let's open it with Visual Studio Code. As you will notice, it's a straightforward Quarkus project. In the POM XML, the Quarkus platform version is marked as free, with a few default dependencies, REST Easy Reactive, ARC, JUnit, and REST Assured for testing. If you take a look into the source folder, you will find a Java class named Grating Resource. this Java class exposing a single get rest endpoint. You will also notice the imported package, now it's Jakarta and not anymore the older Javax. Let's switch back to the terminal to create a Quarkus project while specifying the group ID, artifact ID and version directly from the command line. The command to use is Quarkus create app group ID, artifact ID, and version. For example, Quarkus create app org.js, my Quarkus as artifact ID, and the version 1.0. The CLI will produce a similar project, but with a name based on the artifact ID you have chosen instead of the default code with Quarkus. Let's take a look at the POM XML. Similarly to what you saw earlier, there is a ready to use grating resource, the Java. If you will not remember the command, just type quarkus create with the option help. more specific, Quarkus create app with the option help to display all the helpful information. This will include details about all available commands, such as specified build tool or choosing the Java version. Extensions are special tools or features that you can add to your project. For example, if you want to connect your application to a database, there is an extension for that. The Quarkus CLI provides different commands to handle extensions in your project. If you want a list of all extensions, you need to type Quarkus extension list. If you invoke the Quarkus CLI from outside a project, Quarkus will list all the extensions available for the Quarkus release used by the CLI itself. Let's add an extension called Hibernate ORM Panache. It's helped to connect and interact with the database more easily. Navigate to your project directory. Now, let's imagine that you don't know the exact name of the extension you want to add. The Quarkus CLI can help you with that. You can use the command Quarkus ext list with the option concise is and then the name Hibernate. I stands for installable, S stands for search, ext is just an abbreviation of extension and concise is for the output in the console.
with that add the extension quarkus extension add hibernate or am panache and that's it you have added a new capability to your application if you are curious about the extensions just type quarkus extension list and you will get a list of all extensions you added in your project with also the new one Hibernate or M Panache. Let's do a recap. Today you will learn how to create a Quarkus project with the Quarkus CLI using the default parameters and also specifying the group ID, artifact ID and version. You also learn how to list all available extension and add a new extension to your application. In the next video, you will use Quarkus CLI to do even more fun stuff. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated about the video that I will upload. See you in the next video. Bye.